43 of the Vampire Bloodlines and we are here at the asylum and we're gonna try to replant a lily we got this at the end of last part and I'm surprised I haven't done this yet so let's see if we can find a victim in here it's been a while since we've been into the asylum what can I get you beautiful uh, may I find Knox at your doors? Knox? Yeah, he's usually around here somewhere. Just look for a guy that doesn't look like he has any business being here. That's Knox. Thanks, I'll go see if he's here. <laughs> I know he's here. Maybe I can use you. Um. Do you like nuts? Because I'm completely nuts. Even if my pants were on fire, I would not take them off in front of you. Probably use you. The blood bank holds different delusion for you, my lovely. Really? Well, that's just a little too creepy for me. Perhaps I misjudge your worldly manner. Hmm. I guess I'm going to the blood bank then. Not enough of this place anyway. You'll die for it. We're gonna bite the bullet on the humanity. Loss. Let's go and uh, tell what's his name. Sweet girl you sent up. Made the other one seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. <laughs> At least she used to be. But she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? Oh, we got experience with that too. Give me the sweet red. The red sweetness. No, 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 no. Queen bitch would say no to that. Mm. No, no, no. Okay. And one more. There we go. Five. Okay, we're not so rich anymore, but this will fulfill its purpose. But we completed replanting the lily. Vando has acknowledged, acknowledged your compensation for lily. So now, we got more, we got another blood vessel. Hello, neonate. How can... Of course. What is it you... Know more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. A dark shadow, a curious hair, and a pillar ablaze in the night you sky. You seem to know more than I about these matters. I pray that your visions don't portend the end of us all. You didn't give me the, uh... Camera alone. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. To take less damage codes of behavior that I just read by about. By in order to ensure the continuance of our species, it is nothing more and nothing less. I don't like that he didn't give it to me. Uncloud it some more. Surely. What else would you like to know? Do our blood sucklers belong to this brood? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Rodriguez, the Midnight Warrior, casts a long shadow. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. In any case, 
It's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. <laughs> Do not the Wizard King and the Jester Prince show shared a purpose. The Croix is a prince, neonate, and a Ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Hmm. Put your trust in this shadow psyche, Wizard King. Hmm. Well, without saying too much, I think that Sebastian LaCroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. Ah, your iron crown begins to sparkle. <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. An indicative order of your interests. <laughs> You will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. I am I... Surely. Uh. The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. The Anarchs need not your motherly musings. My fate is my own. I walk my own path. I'm sorry you think so. Perhaps we have nothing further to speak of. Wait, perhaps my tongue was a little too feisty. A wise choice, Neonate. It is always better to listen and learn than to act with brazen recklessness. Perhaps you might be a useful ally after all. All right, I'm out. It seems there is no reasoning with you. Leave now. You will never enter this chantry again. Leave now. We will never speak again. Leave now. <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. All right, now we get out of here. He didn't give us the thing. I might have blew my chance, but it's all right. We'll make do. We will make do. We will meet up outside of the gargoyle's lair. And then we will look into how to continue the main quest after this. <laughs>